Attention X-Files fans, is true life stranger than fiction when it comes to UFOs? Tonight, you're hearing the stories of some Southwest Floridians who've reported close encounters, and you're meeting two Florida men who have a story to tell, one that changed the way they see the skies forever. So are you ready for this? I don't know there's a choice. On the X-Files, Scully and Mulder always seem to find the mystery. We needed to bring it forward so we could have closure. But these two Floridians say in the late 1960s, the mystery found them. Bill Schroeder and his cousin Dennis Force were both in the military, stationed in South Florida during the Cold War with Russia. We routinely had Russian bear bombers flying along the Florida coast, and our job was to keep an eye on them, and if anything penetrated airspace, to shoot them down. And they both remember the night they say America's sensitive military equipment picked up on something zooming through the skies. They had several unidentified flying objects. They didn't know what they were. All they knew, they were going in excess of 5,000 miles an hour. It was clear they were flying a grid pattern. The amazing thing about it was they were doing perfect right angle turns at almost supersonic speed, which that immediately caught my eye because it's something I had never seen before. They've shared their experience with this group, the Mutual UFO Network, or MUFON for short, whose Florida director tells Fox 4 by phone the cousin's story is one of many. Florida has a plethora of case files. We roughly reach about 40 to 50 cases a month. Typically, we're number two uh, in the country for reports. At least one memorable report came from numerous people in Cape Coral. They described it as completely silent with the lights on, and they saw these large stadium-like lights that were pointing down and uh, traveling across the skyline of, of Cape Coral. He says another report came from a Fort Myers man who said he was injured in a UFO encounter in the Everglades. The thick beam of light came out and hit him right in the forehead. He described it as like being hit by a sledgehammer. He was knocked out. In fact, he was knocked out for 24 hours, uh, according to doctors. The night of their experience, the cousins say the Air Force sent supersonic fighters to intercept what was flying through the skies over South Florida. But they say the jets found nothing, leaving a sense of bewilderment and awe back at the Battle Control Center, or BCC. It's really amazing. I was an 18-year-old kid and I stood there on that pad behind the BCC with a smile on my face, looking up at the sky, knowing that I was in on one of the biggest secrets in history. For the rest of my life, I watched the sky at night. They're not surprised their experience has never been confirmed by the military. It's one of those great, those great mysteries. I don't think the government will ever disclose, personally. And they wonder about the possibility of a return visit from UFOs. And I keep waiting for them to pick me up because I'd be gone, you know. Gone and perhaps finally proving the truth is out there. And if you've got a UFO experience to share, this is trending on our Facebook page right now. It's been a hot topic all day long. You can also call us at 239-206-FOX4.